Our next story is about a medical marvel. An Australian man has survived 100 days with an artificial heart. A world first success. Yes, you heard that right. That's what has happened. An Australian man with heart failure has become the first person in the world to walk out of a hospital with a total artificial heart implant. On Wednesday, Australian researchers and doctors behind the operation announced that the implant had been an unmitigated clinical success after the man lived with the device for more than 100 days before receiving a donor heart transplant in early March. The BioVoco Total Artificial Heart was invented by Dr. Daniel Timms. This is the world's first implantable rotary blood pump. Capable of fully replacing a human heart, it uses magnetic technology to replicate the natural blood flow of a healthy heart. While the implant is still in the early stages of clinical study, it has been designed for patients with end-stage biventricular heart failure, a condition that often develops after heart attacks and reaches a point where it can no longer pump blood effectively. So this is big. Because every year, more than 23 million people worldwide suffer from heart failure. Yet, only 6,000 receive a donor heart. This is according to the Australian government, which has invested $50 million into this. The implant is intended as a sort of life-saving bridge to keep patients alive until a donor heart becomes available. But is BioVaker's long-term ambition to enable implant recipients to live without needing a heart transplant? Which brings us to the, main, to the man at the center of this story, a man in his 40s from New South Wales, who was suffering from severe heart failure and he volunteered to become the first recipient of the total artificial heart in Australia. He is the sixth recipient of a total artificial heart in the world. The first five implants took place last year in the U.S. with all patients receiving donor hearts before leaving hospital. And the longest time a patient had spent with a device before a transplant, it is 27 days. The Australian patient received the device on 22nd of November at St. Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. In a six-hour procedure, he became the first patient to go home with the implant and lived with it for over 100 days, that's before receiving a donor heart in March. Jans called it a privilege to be part of this historical medical breakthrough. But while experts have hailed this as a great step forward for artificial hearts, there are still challenges ahead. Professor David Colcon, a board member of the Heart Foundation, pointed out that while the device functioned for over 100 days, a donor heart can last more than 10 years. He also noted that advances in heart medications have reduced majorly the number of patients needing uh, such implants. And still, this is just the beginning. The BioVaco implant is part of a series of groundbreaking procedures, which is being conducted under Monash University's Artificial Heart Frontiers program. The program aims to develop three key devices to treat the most common forms of heart failure and to that we say a revolution in heart care could be closer than we can imagine.